So today was a big day. We had VMworld last week and then this week, October 6th, today, we had vSphere 7 Update 1 come out. Why is that a big deal? Well, 7.0 came out April 2nd, but a lot of folks hold off until Update 1 releases of VMware products come out historically for a variety of reasons for stability, but there's actually some feature upgrades in there as well. So anyhow, let's get into it. Uh, this article talks about the download process, fine, but I wanna actually get started with VCSA. That's always where you get started, right? So to start VCSA, I'll go ahead and bring up, say a browser window here, and typically it's called VAMI, where you point to your VCSA appliance, colon 5480, and you get in, and there's how it looks. And now we're gonna see how does it look. Now, I should also mention that if you look in the vSphere client, you're also gonna see an update button. Okay, so this is Chrome, pin tab, and um, Spectre Meltdown side channel mitigations are what I just cleared. Updates available here, updates available here. So it's pretty prominent that something big happened today, right? I'm on 700, I wanna go to 701. So let's do it. All right, that was pretty simple. <laughs> Single click and it popped right into a screen telling me the build number and all that. Click on it. And this is not gonna be terribly exciting. I'll explain why in a second. Let's look at the drop down. I just wanna show you that. So we can start with interoperability, actually generate report. Let's see what happens um, for interoperability and then pre-check. So I know what's gonna happen. It's gonna jump me over to VME, all right? But whatever, let, let me just go through the motions here um, to show you. Now, the days of snapshotting the VCSA appliance, those are going away. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a rough edge. I've been having some rough edges, I'll admit, with VCSA, or sorry, vSphere 7 in general, with the upgrade process. Um, not serious. Again, nothing serious. I want to say that, emphasize that. But yeah, I've had some issues here, and here's one of them. It's talked about, um, here's another one. So there's been some little bumps in the road. So here it looks like just a cosmetic thing for the most part, probably. Let's see what happens if I close that out. Yep, it's fine. How about we go to generate report again and do pre-update check. Let's see what happens on this one. So far this video is unedited, being recorded in real time, not even sped up. And it's taking a little time on this one. Now we have three hosts in my ZND cluster here to upgrade. But again, before you do any ESXi hosts, you want to do the VCSA appliance. No issues. All right. And notice here it is. <laughs> it's just going to simply open VAMI. If you look at the link in the bottom left corner, you can see it. It's VAMI. So yeah, I can click on that and it just opens it in another tab. Fine. So I'll close the one I had opened earlier. And it brought the summary tab up. It didn't actually bring up the update tab. So let's head on over to update. Seems like it could just pop you over to that URL, but that's all right. Okay, seen this before too. This error should clear. And uh, let's see if I can put that in the clipboard. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in the clipboard. Just I'll have to type it later when I add this to an article potentially. All right, got it. Um, let's move along here. If we hit check updates, CD RAM and URL, I believe, I never clear that error, I never click the X. I believe it just goes away. That's what happened in the past, I think. Let's just watch that happen again. Yes. All right. So everything you saw in the vSphere client, not really necessary because here we are. We could just do it in VAMI. Now you know that's where it's gonna launch you to anyway. If we open up the section, get this nice little thing. We already did a pre-upgrade check. Fine. So let's just install, stage and install. Now I'm gonna boldly live in the world where you can't do snapshots anymore. Um, Snapshot-based backup products no longer supported, I believe with update one and later is what was announced with 7.0. So it's gonna check if I have a backup on my VCSA appliance and that's fine. Huh, okay. Okay, let's make sure before I certify that I have a backup, let's see if it's a recent time. I still don't know why that sort order is the way it is by default, so we just click that twice, October 6th, 
So yes, we do have a new update. Notice it opened a new tab, which is handy. So you can just go right back to where I was in the single tab. 171 minutes, it's not gonna be anywhere near that long, given my experience with going to 7.0b from 7.0. So there we go. Um, should be very much the same as going to, from 7.0 to 7.0b was. I think it took 20, 30 minutes. I think I even, I even published a video about it um, or it was sitting in my drafts folder, not sure. But anyhow, so yeah, this is uneventful. This is what you'd expect. At this point, I might time last speed this up and that way you can kind of see what packages go in. But this is definitely uh, intended to be a hands-off operation. Now we just wait for it, you know, let it rip. Okay, so it finished. It took about 40 minutes, it looks like. I'm not quite sure exactly what time it finished. Now, if we have a look here, presumably it's gonna be logged off, of course. And has it been long enough since the upgrade for it to be done? I don't know, I'm about to find out. So yeah, after it's done, sometimes you need to wait a little bit or if the web servers haven't come up yet, but looks like I'm good to go. So that's a good sign. First login does seem a little slow. We can have a look at what kind of uh, data store it happens to be on. All right, you see a bunch of messages down here in the recent tasks area. Getting a sense of what it was doing. <laughs> uh, a lot, wow. All right, so yeah, I can see um, the upgrade process has a lot of steps. And we started it, hmm. Well, we started around 9.30, but anyhow. All right, let's have a look at the data store. So the data store that it's currently residing on, actually, I'll just go to the VMs here. The auto-started VMs is where my vCenter server lives. And if we look at the summary page, we should see there's the guest version. The data store is right here. It's on a 850 Evo, so it's on a SATA SSD. So not as speedy as NVMe would have been for the update. But let's go ahead and look at VCSA summary 7.01. So there it is. So we're, we are in good shape. It did complete. And if we go back to that um, VM here, go to monitor and performance. Let's see how it looks real time. You would expect the CPU to be high while it was busy. And it looks like it probably finished up around four minutes after, uh, six minutes after the hour, something like that. Yep. Um, so this went well, there's no snapshot to clean up cause I didn't do one. I could have rolled back if I had to. And if you were doing this, in an um, important environment, like production, you'd probably want to download the VCSA 7.0 code before you get started. So you have that ISO on hand in case you have to do a recovery process, which basically involves running the installer from within the ISO for 7.0 update one, and it would prompt you for the, the backup and so forth, basically turning it, you know, rewinding the clock, but without snapshots. Actually, it might be kind of fun to just pop over to VAMI quickly before I totally wrap this video. So let's pop over to VAMI. Installation succeeded. Up here, the URL changed. Nope, it didn't stay in the same URL. Very nice, no updates found. So basically did this for me. It hit the internet, found nothing, and that's what you'd expect. If we hop back over to here, um, back in the main screen, let's say hosts and clusters, that's fine. Um, you're getting no warning of a new version up at the top in blue, as you had seen in the beginning of this video. So that is it. That concludes a uneventful update. Exactly what I like. <laughs> and honestly, since most people would start at 7.0 update one, the little quirks we saw moving from 7.0 B to 7. Actually, 7.0 C, I think was the version I was on. But anyhow, the little quirks we saw, the little hiccup 
not a big deal. Most people probably won't see it. What I really want to know is when update two comes out or update one patch, whatever to VCSA appliance, does that go smoothly without any warnings or unsettling messages whatsoever? So thank you so much for sticking with me and watching this video. Really appreciate it. And thank you for visiting tinkertry.com with a whole collection of eSphere 7 articles and videos already ready for you. Bye for now.